Hi, this will be the first video in a series of videos on uh, creating a slideshow with JavaScript. So uh, we will be creating, um, uh, you know, one of those banners that you see on a web page with the images that slide by and they cycle, right? Um, and we'll do the whole thing with vanilla JavaScript. We won't use any libraries. We won't, you know, use, um, you know, jQuery or any of those tools. We're going to just write all the JavaScript ourselves, and we'll just use all the vanilla JavaScript that's that's built into the language. Okay. To uh, to get started, um, go to my GitHub account. So you can go to uh, GitHub.com/slash/soggybag. And um, here you'll see a list of my repos, and um, or actually you'll see a list up here uh, of the pinned repos. And if you click on the repository button, it will take you to a list of the repos. And the one you're looking for is JS Tutorial Slideshow. And it may not be at the top when you visit, so um, you can search for it by just searching for Slideshow. Wait, I did show slide slide show like this right and then it should it should find that one right so you'll click on this and this is the repository here and the repository is just a collection of files it includes the completed slideshow so you can look at this for reference and it has a folder full of images and these are the images I'm going to use in the example but you can use your own images if you like it helps if they're all sized the same size and that's what I did with mine so like that makes them easy to use um, so what you'll need to do first is you'll need to uh, download the files here. So if you go to the clone or download button here, this green button, you can click uh, download a zip and it should download all the files into your, um, your downloads folder, right? So I'm going to double click on this and you can see here's all the files here. Let me close that thing there. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the completed slideshow first just to get an idea of what we're going to make. So I'll open up this slideshow.html file in my browser here, and you'll see this is what we're going to make, right? So we'll have a slideshow. It can be any size. So I have a couple small ones down here, and I have a large one at the top. Um, you can set the time for the slides. Um, I actually created a bunch of these. It's kind of it's kind of busy when they're all running at once, but I just did it did this as an example to show that the one block of code that we write can be used to create multiple slideshows of any size, right? So we don't have to um, we don't have to write the code again for each slideshow, right? So we'll just write one call to the function to initialize any number of slideshows that we create, right? In this example, the slides slide from left to right, and there'll be some challenges maybe to make them slide vertically or, or do something else. Um, but this is the basic basic uh, project that we're going to build, okay? Um, so I'm going to close that, and then I'm going to hide the browser for a moment here. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make a folder on my desktop and call it uh, slideshow. And I'm going to work from this folder. So what I'll need is I'll need the folder full of images. You could work in this folder too, but um, I think for the example, just to keep things uh, clear, I'm going to copy the images into the slideshow folder on my desktop, and I'll just work from there. And if I need to reference the other work, I can go get that out of the um, out of the downloads, right? So anyway, so I got my images in here. Let's take a quick look at the images. So if I open up the images folder, you'll see that um, I found a bunch of images here, and I, I think they're copyright free. I'm not totally clear on that, but it seemed like I got them from Google, and I don't know, maybe they're copyright free, uh, hopefully, right? Um, I've named them all with some name, and then I followed it with the width and the height. And that'll be important later when we try and size our slideshow. And like I said, the slideshow will work best if the images are all the same, you know, height. all the images in one particular slideshow are all the same height and width. So I've got a bunch here that are 1,200 by 400, and then I have a few that are um, 300 by 169, okay? This one ended up being 900 by 300. I was going to do some about that size, but I I didn't. I only have the one. So, um, so anyway, so we'll use these 1200 by 400 ones are the ones we're probably going to use, right? Okay, great. So how are we going to get started? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this folder that I'm working on 
in uh, in Visual Studio Code. And I can do that just by dragging it to the Visual Studio Code icon, right? And then that should open it up here. And then I'll see in the folder here, um, the images folder and all my pictures are in there, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a brand new uh, file in here and I'll call it, um, actually I don't wanna make it in the images folder. I wanna make it outside here. I'm gonna call it index.html. Okay, so now I've got an HTML file to work with, and then I'll set up the basic, uh, you know, HTML code here. So we'll set the uh, the doc type, um, HTML, and then we'll set the uh, HTML tag and the head tag. Maybe we'll use the title tag, and then over here we'll do the uh, body tag. Okay, and at the bottom of the body tag, I'm going to write a script tag, right? And we'll break this out later, maybe into its own file, but just for the example here, I'm going to keep the script tag inside the HTML document, and that way I can see the HTML markup that I'm working with and the code down here together side by side. And I think in the head of the document, I'll add a style tag, and we'll write our CSS styles in here. Maybe we'll even mark it, right? So we'll say CSS styles here, and then we'll say uh, uh, JavaScript here, and then our HTML stuff will go in here. There we go, right? So now we know where everything is. So I'll save that, and that's a pretty good starting place. So why don't I just stop this video here, and then in the next video, we'll get into actually writing the code. So this should set you up, and you should be ready to go after if you've got all this done, okay? So thanks for watching.